YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video. Back with another segment of Speculation Saturdays. So I'm going to do a little bit different today. I'm actually going to pick three pops that are unreleased that I think have the potential to be grails in the future. So this is actually kind of fun to do. Um, with the other Speculation Saturday segments, I have a little bit of information to go off of. Whether it's Voltage, kind of knowing what the supply is out there and uh, you know just general rumors and uh, news uh, but with all these is pure speculation so I think this will be a little bit fun so let's get right into it and see my picks here we go Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button down below as well so you update to my most recent content and hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So if it's your first time tuning into this segment, what I like to do every Saturday is talk about like the investing or financial side of Funko collecting and uh, just kind of give you guys um, my picks of what pops I think will go up in uh, value over time. So like I said, all three of these pops I'm going to suggest today are um, not released yet. They all are still available to pre-order on Entertainment Earth if you're interested in pre-ordering them. There's a link in the description if you'd like to do so. So all three of these pops I think have potential to go up in value over time. So the first one I have for you guys today is Punchy. So I actually asked for this pop um, in one of my uh, pops that I wish Funko would make videos months ago. And it uh, looks like Funko either saw the video or just happened to think the same way I did. Um, Punchy is uh, the mascot for Hawaiian Punch, as you guys know. If you don't, there you go. And um, of the Ad Icon pops that they have released recently, I think this one has the most potential. Um, it seems like Funko's starting to go in another direction with this line as far as putting that foodies line out that you guys know I love so much and um, seems like they might be starting to stop making a lot of the ad icons like they did last year and this year. Um, if that is the case and the ad icons are kind of leveling out, they're going to move on to other things. I think people are going to start getting back into collecting the ad icons they missed and I think that of all the ad icons that they dropped, this one's probably going to have the most limited of supply. The reason being, I don't think he's the most popular of all of them out there. Um, you have the baby peanut, Mr. Peanut, who they're pushing very, very heavy with, on Planters End. You got the uh, uh, Coke Bear, I believe, and then you got like four different of this slushy dog. So I think Punchy's the odd man out as far as the supply that's going to be out there, but I think he also has a huge following and people like that pop. Uh, they got the design down really well, and I think that as long as supply is low, this one has potential to be a grail in the future. Um, so definitely want to suggest to get into your collection. Again, all three of these pops I'm going to suggest are all pops that I'll be picking up either way, and I just think that they do have the potential to be um, sought after later down the line. Obviously not uh, initially, it's going to be retail, um, but after everything kind of shakes out and the supply gets in the hands of the collectors, I think that these pops have potential and Punchy definitely has one, um, has the potential to be Grail, um, as long as they don't make that many and I don't think that they will. Um, so first pop I have for you guys today is Punchy. All right, so next up, I have another pop that I was excited that they released. I never even thought about uh, this pop being made, but once they dropped it, I was really excited to see, and that's Inspector Gadget. But I'm actually going to suggest the Chase. Now, the reason why I'm suggesting the Chase is because obviously the Chase is being more sought after than the regular one, but I don't think you can go wrong either way. Now, this is the first Inspector Gadget pop that they've ever dropped. I don't see them having too many other Inspector Gadget pops in the future. Now, the reason why I suggest this pop is, again, it's very, very nostalgic for anybody who grew up watching the cartoon, the movie. Um, a lot of people are going to try to get this pop. And there's actually no rumors or news um, about Inspector Gadget right now as far as making the Funko Pop or any other of his um, items move. I do think this is still a show or movie that they can do again in the future. I think it has a lot of potential. It was a cool story and uh, they're remaking everything right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if later down the line Inspector Gadget gets rebooted. So you're going to definitely have to pop either way. I think it's going to be sought after by people um, because they want to have something like this in their collection. And um, if there's a potential for a reboot or something like that in the future, this one's going to skyrocket even higher. So I strongly suggest to at least get the regular one. Um, but if you're able to track on the chase, either um, out in the wild, you get lucky and you pre-order, um, I definitely think that's something to hold on to your collection for a while. So second pop I have you guys today is Inspector Gadget. All right, guys, so the third and final pop I have for you today 
is an interesting one. It's part of uh, Funko's retro toy line. Again, with the Funko Ad Icon line, I think they're going to mass produce a lot of them, but there's going to be one that's going to be left behind and they're not going to produce as many. And if that gets vaulted um, quickly or at all, it's going to be something that's going to be sought after later than the line because the supply is going to outweigh the demand. And that pop I have you guys is the My Pet Monster. So I might be a little biased here, but I've always wanted one of those My Pet Monster toys in my collection. Um, I've never found it for a good price. It's pretty expensive. Uh, if you check on like eBay or any um, selling website, they're pretty expensive, they're like 100, 150 bucks, maybe even more now. Um, so I definitely think a lot of people who can't get their hands on the regular toy may start flocking to buying the Funko Pop. Again, anything I suggest on this list, I like to suggest things that have um, appeal outside of the Funko collecting hobby. Um, and that this pop right here, I definitely think is going to have that from toy collectors in general. And um, the toy lines that they came out with, uh, for the retro toy line, they have the Rock'em Sock'em uh, Robots, they have Mr. Potato Head, the Operation Guy. There's so many classic, classic um, toys that they're uh, printing or are, are producing. And I just don't think the My Pet Monster is the star of that show, so I don't think they'll make too many of him. Um, but I still think there's a huge enough, a big enough following that people are going to want to track this down, and the supply is going to be a lot lower than demand. So, My Pet Monster is definitely one I would suggest, suggest to get in your collection. They did a very, very good job with the uh, design of this pop, and definitely one I, uh, I suggest to get into your collection because um, this is cool. And I just think over time people are going to want to get this, and it may even be a settle piece for people who can't get the regular one into their collection. So. My Pet uh, Monster is the last pop I have for you guys today. Again, these are all pure speculation. I have no idea how many they'll make of these pops. I, I don't know, um, you know, if they'll be vaulted fast or, or what the case may be. But to me, it's just a little bit fun giving you guys my opinions and uh, hopefully you're able to track them down. Like I said, they're all available on Entertainment Earth in the link in the description so that you can get them before it is sold out. And just let me know your thoughts about these pops. If you think there's something else in the uh, the lines, if you think Penny from the Spectre Gadget is going to go up, or Mr. Potato Head, or any of the other things that you know I'm su uh, suggesting are not going to go up, let me know in the comment section down below. I really would appreciate your feedback. It doesn't bother me. I'd like to hear what you guys think because these are just my opinions. If you've not already hit that like button down below, let me know you guys enjoy this segment. And if you're new to this channel, like I said, make sure you subscribe so you can stay tuned to more info just like this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you later.